Laser eye surgery in diabetes, in the early years, we were very cautious. And the reason was that uh, we know that diabetic patients, especially those that are insulin dependent, which usually means that they've had diabetes since they were relatively young, on the whole, they don't heal quite so well. So if they have a, a, an injury to the skin, it, it just takes a bit longer to heal. It, it just as though there's not quite so, so effective healing processes going on in the skin. And the same applies to the front of the eye. So when we used to do PRK, which is very similar in many ways to LASEK on the surface of the eye, there was some concern that the surface might not heal over quite so well. And they would have a much more protracted period of settling down with, with the surface laser treatment. But with the advent of LASIK, then that tended to sort of take a back seat. And, and with LASIK, there wasn't the same need for the cornea to heal. There was no uh, sore area on the front of the cornea. It was all underneath a flap. The laser had been carried out beneath the flap. So the flap healed quite well in diabetic patients. There is another group of di diabetic patients where you'd have to think twice about doing laser refractive surgery. And that would be diabetic patients who have damage to the retina because of their diabetic problems. This is called diabetic retinopathy. And patients with diabetic retinopathy should not be treated by laser refractive surgery. Uh, we all accept that, that if there's a problem with the retina, fundamentally, then you really should not be treating patients with that uh, particular problem.